what's up guys, it's Brian here. Today I'm bringing you guys another LEGO haul video. The spring sets for 2018 just came out, so I got a couple of the solo sets and a couple of the regular uh, non-solo sets, but they are Star Wars anyway. So let's just jump right into this. I got a really large bag. <laughs> it was a new employee at the LEGO store, and he gave me a very big bag. That's fine. The first thing, and that is free starting today, actually, is the Darth Vader pod. The one that um, no one thought would actually happen because it was cancelled back in December. So they had to re-figure out that promotion. But who cares? And this is my first, um, actually, my first one of the new Darth Vader. So I'm cu curious to see what he, what he exactly is like. Because I'm not the biggest fan of him. But oh well. He's free at the LEGO store. $60 purchase of LEGO Star Wars. And you get this Darth Vader pod. I forget when it runs too, but I didn't really care to look that up. Because this is just <laughs> when I'm here. When, you know, I went to the store when it happened. Whatever. You know what I mean. So... Now, of the solo sets, I got two of the small ones, the two smallest ones. The Imperial Patrol Battle Pack, 75207, 99 pieces. Saw my analysis video of this, but I'm going to be doing reviews of all of the sets I get today. Probably not the pod, but all of the sets we'll be doing reviews of. So, very neat. Looking forward to seeing those figures, especially. And the other solo set I got is the Han Solo Landspeeder, 75209. Very excited for this one. I'm excited for these figures, and the speeder itself looks really good. I saw it in the store, actually. It was on display. But, uh, very good set. And for 30 bucks, not a bad deal. One bit. As far as price per piece is concerned. Alright. And of the, uh, the, the new non-solo Star Wars sets, I got the famous, uh, What About the Droid Attack on the Wookiees Battle Pack. 75206. Very excited for these figures in particular. I already have a bunch of Phase 1 clones. And the build is pretty bad, but regardless, I'll be doing a full review on this one as well. So, that's a fun set because of the, the figures in there. I know a lot of you are very excited for a Clone Trooper Battle Pack. And last, but certainly not least, my favorite of this new wave, most likely, is Yoda's Hut 75208. Finally, 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 we get a Yoda's Hut after all these years of waiting and waiting. The last Yoda set came out probably before some of you were even born. I remember it from when I was very little, but we finally get a new one. We've got some great figures besides Yoda, but like I said, I'll be doing a review on that one as well later on. So expect at least four videos from me in the next week. Probably, like I said, I probably won't review the pod, but regardless, these are the sets I just got today. Quick little video for you guys. Glad I was able to keep it uh, at a decent length. So anyway, I'm going to get building and get filming. So thank you guys very much for watching. Leave a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below. You, you're going to get any of these sets, any of the other new ones that I haven't gotten, like the bigger ones. Leave it all in the comment section below. And be sure to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks guys very much for watching. This has been Brian from Watermelon Studios. Peace out, guys.